Tackle Junkies, what's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. I almost forgot how to make one of these. It's been, it's been a little bit, and I do apologize for the lack of videos, but I made a post yesterday on Instagram and Facebook, just kind of giving you guys an update, you know, saying that I'm basically working seven days a week right now and I don't have a lot of time for the videos, but I'm just gonna pump out, you know, whatever I can, whenever I can. You know, we're washing around 500 trucks a week right now. It's just me and my son. And until I find another crew, you know, things are going to be hit and miss on this channel. Like I said, I'm going to try and at least pump out one video a week. But um, just kind of hang with me. We're going to do what we can to keep this thing rolling and hopefully find another crew sooner, you know, rather than later. So anyways, in today's video, I want to talk about the Norman speed clip. You guys noticed that in my last fishing video, man. I'd love to be tossing some top water right now, but I don't believe they'll hit it in about 25 degrees. You never know though, but it's doubtful. Anyways, in that video, you guys had some questions about this clip. Guys, I've been using the Norman Speed Clips for many, many years. Really, I can go ahead and show you guys just how long I've been using these clips. What's going on, guys? Got a product review for you today. Norman Lures Speed Clips. It's a 10 pack. They're all stainless steel, a little under uh, three bucks for the 10 pack, and they're made in the USA. Probably the fastest way to change out your hard baits while you're fishing. Once you tie onto the clip, and you want to change, just squeeze the clip, rotate it, it's off. So you just tie to the back of the clip one time, and you're good all day long. Um, you can take all the split rings off your uh, hard baits because there's a split ring on the clip. Another good thing about that is you don't have to worry about tying in the split like you normally would on your hard baits because you're no longer tying to a split ring, you're just tying to the end of the clip, so that's another bonus. Um, they're not heavy at all, so they're not going to affect your uh, top water action, it's not going to bring the nose of the bait down. And uh, like I said, just a way, quick way to swap out your baits. So, another thing I like to do when I'm done, take it off. I like to put it on my hook holster. Okay, I'm ready to go next time. So just a fast, easy way to swap out your baits and I'll give you more time fishing. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Wow. I've aged a little bit. <laughs> I've aged a little bit. That should give you guys an idea just how long I've been using the Norman Speed Clips. Here's my little box of tricks right here, and you guys can see the only clip in this box, the Norman Speed Clip. You know, there's a bunch of different ones out on the market, but the Norman is the one that I've been using for many years. I've never had any issues with it. You know, years ago I used the ones that had the little point that came out the side. Those would open up from time to time. That little point would catch grass. I do believe they've streamlined those since then, but I've never had any issues at all with the Norman Speed Clips, and that's the one I'm sticking with. You guys can pick those up over there at LureNet, code TJ81. Just save you guys 15% off. I even picked up another pack myself here. I do believe they have them in a 10 pack, but I picked up the, the 50 pack there. I also picked up a bunch of other goodies in here. A little Norman, this is a Speed N. Picked up a bunch of those. And a bunch of the new, this is the P71. Little Rebel Popper there. Bunch of those as well. If you guys wanna see a little unboxing video, let me know. Anyways guys, getting off topic here. The Norman Speed Clip, oh man, it's an awesome way to swap lures quickly and not have to tie you know, a bunch of knots. Now, I really only use them on, you know, top water and lipless. Of course, you can use them on all crankbaits. I prefer to tie directly to, you know, square bills and deep diving crankbaits and things like that. Of course, I don't really use deep diving crankbaits. I use DT10s, it's about the max that I use. But for my square bills, I do like to tie direct. But for top waters, uh, really mainly top waters is the main lure that I use them for. And that's because I really don't want to tie a loop knot. I have a ton of confidence in the Palomar, right? 
Let me cut this off here real fast. So with having so much confidence in the Palomar knot, that's the knot that I want to use. But like I said, tying directly to a topwater bait will restrict the movement. You won't get that real wide side to side walk when tying direct. So your options are, you know, some sort of clip or tying some sort of loop knot. And I prefer the clip just because every time I want to switch lures, then I have to retie the knot. It's much faster and more efficient to use a clip. And like I showed in the video, guys, using the Norman Speed Clip is as easy as a quick squeeze and rotating it off. And this is a full size spook here, good size spook with a good size eye there. And like I just showed you guys, no problem at all getting that Norman Speed Clip on the eye of this lure. Guys, definitely check them out. They'll be linked down below. You know, a pack of Norman Lure Speed Clips will be a great little stocking stuffer for your loved one or even for yourself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.